Previously on Raider Power, Texas Tech football. Well, what we do after each scrimmage or each game, every coach grades every individual player that they coach on the field in terms of alignment, technique, effort, and whether they get a, either a plus or a minus in any, any of those categories. And, and then the player gets a grade, it's all written down. But what we do uh, before we even uh, get with our players, we want to talk about it as, as coaches because I think it's important that everybody's on the same page as the staff. You know, a lot of times as, as we're building our, our team, you know, we'll look at our needs of what we need and, and if we've got freshmen coming in, maybe we've got depth at a position. And if that guy's not really something exceptional, he's got, there's a standard that's got to be set that they've got to be able to meet. There's also a numbers that's got to be met for each position and, and you know, to build the whole team around. So it's critical for us as we build them and we take each, each guy and he is a piece of our puzzle to, to build our team with, and, and, and that goes into chemistry, talent, need, and the, and the whole, uh, whole foundation of building the team. The first two weeks of camp is a total evaluation period. We want to give all the new guys an opportunity to come in and compete and show us what they can do. Um, but after two weeks, really after that second scrimmage, we want to, we have a pretty good idea who we're going to play with, and we want to eliminate those that we're not going to play with. Uh, this season. What's fun now is the first couple of years we've been here, we didn't have a lot of depth, so there wasn't a lot of competition. That makes for a better football team. Uh, that's how you win, win big games. That's how you win uh, championships. You know, that, that's how you make All-Americans is when you have individuals that try to beat other guys out because play in time is special, and we want it to continue to be special here. But now we're getting to the point where we do have that that competition and it's even going to make for a better team. The week before game is figuring out what we're going to do, what we're best at play-wise, formation, personnel-wise. Pick it up, not a good period right there. Pick it up, let's go, let's go. You know, I think it's a different focus because as you go through the different points of, of football, spring ball to fall camp to during the season, you know, there's an excitement of, of hey, the new next team or something new. You know, we're tired of going against our defense. Our defense is tired of going against us. You know, and it's time to unite as, as one team. Today is not what we're hunting. We didn't get lined up fast enough. We had too many MAs. Also, you get rejuvenated because there's something, now there's a, you know, there's a there's a carrot there that's dangling in front of you this first game. Ours was exactly six days away. It's every group. It's every group. And you got six, six days, six days, okay? Got one more work day, the rest of us polish it up and get it going. Fundamentals is what's gonna, gonna make, it, make a difference. DNs. Much, much, much better today out there. A really good job out there today. It's a process for the coaches and it's a huge process for the players because then we want to get into a routine because routine is very, very important. Tomorrow, you go to class. Get up, get up there, go see your teachers, sit in the front row, get off on the right foot. Because once school starts, then they have classes, tutors, study halls. You know, there's a lot of other th other things out there that they have their responsibility for. We're going to get ready to go for Saturday. Everybody's got to be into it. Remember, you got to switch gears from academics to football. Take care of that. When you get down here, then it's all football. When you leave here, you go to study hall and it comes with academics again. Watch film. Let's see how good we can be this week. Our kids came out, thought we played really good tempo early in the game. Uh, thought we played hard. And, and that's kind of what our emphasis was going in this game. They go for the two, diamond formation, hand off to Stevens, coming from his right to the left, turns the corner, puts the ball down in the end zone. Touchdown, Red Raiders! Boy, and the Red Raiders made the that one. The thing we wanted to do tonight was establish the run and stop the run, and I think we did that pretty well. Snap now, Preston's going to get to him as he tried to run the option right. And pulling him down from behind is Elvon Simmons was one of them, and Kerry Hyder the other. But I thought our D tackles, you know, I, I really thought Kerry Hyder would play well in this game because he had had a great camp, and I, I think he did have, have a good day. Drive four, three and out. Drive five, three and out. Okay? All of them can be that way as long as you play what you're supposed to play out there. The best thing that we're doing right now is handling the run game. You handle the run game. No big plays for touchdowns. That's the whole key to the whole game. Rushing in there on the blitz, D.J. Johnson getting back there very better. quickly. We've got a lot better team. We've got a lot of room for improvement. It just depends on how good you want to be. Now, that's one of them. We've got 11 to go. We're going to take them one at a time. We've got to get better between now and next Saturday, 6 o'clock, on the road. On the road. Come back Monday. Be ready to work. Hell yeah. Take on Texas State. Here we go. Team on three. One, two, three. Three.
abilities. Labor Day in the Texas Tech campus is quiet as students take a break for the holiday. Let's go early, early, early. For the Red Raider football team, it's a work day. While they labor on the practice field fresh off their season opener. Practice hard. Texas Tech kicked off the 2012 campaign with a 44-6 victory over the Demons of Northwestern State. Red Raider offense rolled up 500 yards in the contest, and the Texas Tech defense gave up just two field goals and allowed the fewest points in six years. It was fun to see it all kind of come together. Uh, we didn't play near as good as we could play, which is good. Uh, we've got to get better each week, each game. It's a long journey, man. we got to take it one day at a time, man. For real. Like that, that, that win, that win, that's in the past, man. That's behind us. We're on to this next week, and we got to continue to think like that every game. Get better. Today, the process of improvement continues on the practice field. Got a lot to learn. Got a lot of growing up to do. You're only as good as uh, how you practice, though. We've got to really practice well this week. You know, work on the little things, you know, to try to get that edge each week. They understand, you know, where they're at, what they're getting ready to get into for the next 11 weeks, and how much better we can be, but it's not just going to happen. We have got to practice hard, and it's got to become important to to, to everybody on offense, defense, and special teams. Mark Kaufman's unit yielded just 84 yards in the veteran coach's debut as Texas Tech's defensive coordinator. You know, I think in the first game we learned that, that, that you know, how hard we can play. Some of our technique work. Sometimes you work it in practice and you wonder in the game, can they, tr can they trust the technique? Do they believe in it? And I think that's the biggest thing that we went out there and took our first test. At, we had studied it and understood our technique and trusted in it and let it make plays for us. For Neil Brown, beginning his third year directing the Red Raider offense, the first game was a good test for the young players, but there needs to be improvement between the first and second games of the season. Game one, then you're playing an opponent who, who's game playing against you, who's going to show you different looks and give you different things uh, that you haven't seen. So. You know, sometimes, especially when you're playing young guys, I think we played 11 guys that played their first college football game. In game one, you know, there's Peach, always a little bit on? of adjustment. Teach what's going on. Do you understand me? We're just learning what's going on. Make sure you go get them lined up. All right, look, we're about 60% up. All right, tempo up front. Skill guys and then I think you speed. always see right, a huge, secondary. huge improvement from game speed. one to game two okay. just because, you know, it's not their first time going out and doing things. Usually you improve a lot between first and second games, but uh, uh, our situation, we, we, we've, we've improved every week because we've had a lot of room for improvement. We start today getting ready to play. Defense, you've got a lot to learn. Offense, we've got to be the most physical team on the field. We've got to get ready to go. All right, class starts back tomorrow. Go to class. Come and hold. Works team. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. Raiders are on their final day of on-field preparation for their next opponent. Stan said go! Defensive hey, coordinator go. Art Kaufman begins practice with a walkthrough of their game plan for Saturday. Let's roll it up the field, just like Mo for you. It's the same job as Mo was for you. Up the field right there, okay? Widen out and roll. Widen out and roll it. 
You know, the things we try to do in our walkthroughs, you know, we try to do them almost every day, and then we, we fine tune it down at the, at the end of the week. But the thing we're looking for is we put it in the classroom, we talk it, and then we go on the field and snap the ball in team situations or group situations, and it's full speed. And the walkthrough is kind of a, a deal that's an intermediate part of our practice that we put it on the board. Now we go out there and we do it without being full speed and, and try, to, try to make sure everybody knows what they're doing and actually moving and doing it, and then go out there and do it at a, at a full speed tempo. So it's an important part of it, because if you have one piece of the 11 man puzzle out of, out of position, because somebody forgets or gets lost or, or whatever, then all of a sudden everything's off, because it only takes one breakdown to, to uh, you know, for a team to score on you. And that's why we do that from the board, you know, to the walk to, to, the, to on the field at full speed. What's our mode, run or pass? What are we thinking? Run, run, okay? Stan said, go. Hang tight. I don't need you up the field. I need you right off that tackle's hip, uh, end and, and will. As we're doing it through a walkthrough, and if they're focused and know what they're doing, you'll get immediate verbal communication. If they don't, there's hesitation. And if there's hesitation in walkthrough, there's going to be hesitation. Or mistakes in walkthrough, there will be hesitation and mistakes during the team. And we could find out it hey, this guy doesn't have it yet. we got to do it again and do it again until they do. And that's one of the things we try to build our system based on simplicity and have a toolbox of answers so that when we have a problem, we can go back to something we hadn't done in three weeks and say, do you remember this concept? This team is doing this. We have to plug this in. And players can say, yeah, we know how to do that. And, and that's a big part of it. The defense will face a Texas State unit that put up 444 yards in their 30-13 road win against Houston. The bulk of Thursday's work involves the scout team. The Bobcats feature an option attack that rushed for 248 yards against the Cougars. And for Tech's defense, a good look from the scout team is crucial. You know, the scout team look that we get is, is critical all the time, but especially any time we're playing option team because that's not something that we get from our offense. And to fit the schemes, the speed of the schemes, the technique of what people are trying to do to you, you've got to have it as close to as resemblance as you can. Uh, and it's critical, and our, our scout team does a great job for us. Scout team did a good job this week. Y'all give them a hand. <laughs> the word's pride. Uh, Eugene Nebo, you're up. You did right this weekend. All right, pride on three. One, two, three, pride! pride. It's Friday evening in the Texas Hill Country. For the Red Raider offense, the week of preparation is wrapping up with some film work. Uh, let's go, right there, right there, front row. The team meets with coordinator Neil Brown to go over video for their last let's practice. Let's our Thursday practice is short, but we're, we're basically going through our game plan, you know, section by section. You know, we work short yardage, we work all third downs, we work red zone, goal line, you know, our opening script. All right, first play. And this will be the first play tomorrow. We're on the left hash. And basically, on Friday, I'm talking through that practice. So, obviously, if we have any mistakes, we get those corrected. Well, you, you're looking at it right now. You want me to rewind it where you can see? Look, and look. Then you look again. You know what I mean? Omar, this is a better job here. You just got to stay. Stay on them, okay? Chase, chase. You got to stay on. Stay on it here. We're here. You're here, Bradley, right? Bradley, I, don't, I, don't, I guess that's effective for you. I'm not going to. Bradley, you got to gain ground right here, okay? Gain some ground on your foot fire. It's a good job staying on the numbers right here. Good adjustment, good catch. Much better pad level on this O-line. Way too high in all our play action last week. Better there. So now we got to carry this out, keep going. Not bad. Got to get across on these drag routes. All right, you did a nice job coming back to the football here. Jace, you run it later, and you do not do a very good job getting back. This is a good job coming back. Not bad right there. Omar, be low with your pad level. Fine work. You trust your read right here. There. I know your read shows a little color, but you got to take that right there. Let's go. Trust your speed. Let's go. Got to protect on third and long, guys. If we can protect on third and long, okay, we'll be able to make some plays in the passing game. We got to punish or make safeties miss, one or the other. Okay, can't be on any highlight reels this week, running backs. It's good. Jace, you got to sink your hips to the top right here and come back to the football. 
It's good protection. It's a good job finding grass right here, Darren, getting on the other side of this defender. It's a good tempo here. It's a good job getting out. Good job running all the way to the numbers right here, backs. All right. It's a good job getting across right here. Good speed right there. Run with speed. Be fast. Be fast outside. Outrun them. All right. Remember, Dave, you're going to always check this, see if you got a route over here. Obviously, you got somebody in the alley, so there's not. Correct? This is a good job. It's a real good stick here by you, Darren. Good job being patient. It's a good job. It's going to be one of our, our most called plays tomorrow night, but also so they know kind of what I'm thinking going into the game. Okay. Hey, this is our first short yardage call coming up. All right. This is our first third and medium call. All right, this is this is the this is the first play of the game. If we get this look, this is what we're gonna do. If we get the, if we get another look, this is our this is our option on that play. So just kind of talking each uh, all the guys through what our game plan is. They're gonna try to get pressure, okay, in non-traditional ways. They're gonna have to blitz. They're gonna have to twist. They're gonna mix fronts up. Use their linebackers to rush. Got it. Got it, running backs. The session concludes with a blitz tape look at the Texas State defense. Our blitz protection is huge that our O-line and running backs are on the same page. Guys, I guarantee you we will see this. We'll see it in short yardage. We're going to see it on third down. We're going to see it in the red zone right there. All right, running backs, we've got a ton of reps of that Monday through Thursday. Make plays versus zero, you don't have to worry about it very much. They get hits, force us to make bad decisions, you'll see it a lot. They corner fired us last year seven times. Okay, corner fired us seven times from the boundary, backs. Okay, so you got to be alert to that every single time. Get it picked up. You know, that's, that's, that's the last uh, piece of film that they'll watch before we play. We've got to come out. We've got to play fast. Okay, we've got to play hard, and we've got to play physical. We did those things last week. We've got to do a great job in our pass pro technique. Okay, all right? Running backs, we've got to run through tackles, and we've got to make people miss. X and Zs. Number one thing for you guys, you all got to play hard as you possibly can, okay? And then you got to win one-on-one -on -one matchups. You're going to have a ton. That's why they play defense. It's one-on-one -on -one with you guys. Inside receivers, okay? We've got to make plays, all right, in space because you're going to have opportunities, all right? They play a lot of zone on you guys. Quarterbacks, you got to manage the game and be accurate. Manage the game and be accurate. We're going to make some mistakes tomorrow. That's the way it is. We're going to come out and we're going to attack from the first play through the last, Okay? If you make a mistake, okay, if we throw an interception, so be it. We're going to attack the next play. We miss a block in the run game. Next play, we're going to attack. You can't play a play behind. That one's over. It does not matter. Do you understand me? You drop a ball. It's over. We've got to attack the next play, okay? The theme for tomorrow night is attack, attack. Play physical, but attack every single opportunity you get. You play 12 games. This is your second opportunity tomorrow. Make sure you leave no regrets on how you perform. Does everybody understand that? Okay, take care of business tonight. That's all I got. Texas Tech's 963rd football game would find them in front of a record crowd at Texas State's Bobcat Stadium for the non-conference battle between your Texas Tech Red Raiders and the Bobcats of Texas State. Go get it. Come on, see what you're going to do, huh? Let's see what you're going to do. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Energy and emotion today. Play with energy and emotion. You got a great atmosphere out there. Play fast, play hard, play as physical as you can. All right, the product you put out there is who you are. You understand me? You got 11 opportunities left. Do not waste one. Do not waste one. Defense, they're going to try to hit you early. Play technique. See what you hit. Keep your head up and see what you hit and run through it. They're going to make some yards. We're going to keep them out of the end zone. Offense, play your game. Let's open this thing up. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, go. Let's, go. Let's see. How good this Red Raider football team is. Let's go! The crowd you're hearing right now are Red Raider faithful as Texas Tech let out onto the field. Following an offensive miscue on Tech's opening drive, State would have some momentum as they look to capitalize. Red Raider defense would have to respond. Second down, seven from the Tech 25-yard line. First offensive possession for the Bobcats. Back to throw is Rutherford. It's intercepted by Cody Davis at the 15, coming the other way to the 30, 35. Down the sideline, now to the 40, 35. He may score. He will. Touchdown, Red Raiders. Cody Davis on the pickoff and return of 85 yards. I think, you know, getting takeaways is a big, big uh, deal, but to get that one at that time in the game, 
and to get the ball was one thing, and then the effort of our players to get it into the end zone was, was unbelievable. It's something we practiced, but uh, you know, just for those guys, they weren't they weren't satisfied just to get the ball. They were they were bound and determined to get it as far down that field as, as they could, and it makes a lot of difference. I think that feeds you know feeds us, and, and we'll do a better job as the year goes along of expecting you know takeaways and expecting to make things happen. With them. After their initial setback, the Texas Tech offense would get on track and take control of the game. He's going to throw again. Looks deep left side towards the end zone for Darren Moore. Up high for it. Touchdown, Red Raiders. Made plays on both sides. Defense, you made a play early. Got us out of jam. Offense, you played great. Consistent. That's what we got. We just got to get consistent every week. More consistent. We're tackling better. Our kicking game's looking better. It's looking a lot better. We're not there yet. We got to keep working hard. Main thing is we got better. We're getting better. We learn from Mar from the film. We come back. We work hard. We got another one next week before we take a week off. Proud of you.